Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta, and today we are going to talk about handling the non-linearity in Smart PLS form. Now, the non-linearity is a term used in statistics to describe a situation when there is not a linear relationship between an independent variable and a dependent variable. In a non-linear relationship, changes in the output do not change in direct proportion to the changes in any of the inputs. For example, in our previous example, we had seen that the loyalty is captured by four statements, S1, S2, S3, and S4. Now, it may be possible that S1 is not affecting loyalty in a linear proportion. It may be that it is a quadratic, and we have to handle such issues in smart PLS. Now, how we can introduce a quadratic effect in smart PLS? Let's see. Here, the job satisfaction of an employee is affecting the staying intention of an employee. Organizational commitment of an employee is affecting the staying intention. Environmental perception is affecting the staying intention. Co-workers, the behavior of the co-worker is affecting the staying intention. I request all my viewers to kindly refer my previous video to understand the flow of this entire lecture series. Now I want to introduce the job satisfaction quadratic effect. So I will click here and it will activate the click on all the four paths. So if I want to introduce the job satisfaction quadratic effect, I'll just simply click here. Then I'll go in select menu and I'll drag it. So this is a quadratic effect of job satisfaction on staying intention. Now go in calculate bootstrapping and start the calculation. You can see here that the p-value of this path is less than 0 0.05 and therefore the quadratic effect is not significant. This we can further confirm in the reports, go in open report, go in path coefficients and see the p-value. The p-value of the quadratic effect is more than 0 0.05 which means that the quadratic effects are not significant. This we can further confirm by confidence intervals bias corrected. If zero is present in between this two range, it means that this path is insignificant. You can see here negative to positive. It means that the zero is present here. In all above cases, zero is not present as it is positive to positive, positive to positive, positive to positive, positive to positive. This is the only case which goes from negative to positive which means that there is a presence of zero and when zero is present, the path coefficients are not significant. You can also check the quadratic effect of other uh, path coefficients by clicking here and introducing the effect here. Let's see how we can do it. One, two, three, four. We can introduce the quadratic effect of all of them. Calculate, bootstrapping, start the calculation. The p-values of all of them are less than 0 0.05 and we can confirm that this is a linear model. The p-value of more, all of them are more than 0 0.05. See, and therefore, these paths are insignificant. Let us go in open report, see the path coefficient, and you can see that the quadratic effect of all of them, the p-value is more than 0 0.05, and therefore, these path coefficients are insignificant. For more videos on Smart PLS, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can refer my playlist in which I have already uploaded many videos related to Smart PLS. Don't forget, don't, please don't forget to press the like button. And you can also follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter.